having rasped it all off, the next bit to do is to make the skirt pattern. This is your skirts here, and they'll sit on along there like so. And the same with the other side, like so. Just like that. So in order to make that pattern, what we have to do is if we get a filled pen, imagine the centre line, and then you want a distance about this much apart, which will be there and there. Then your skirts are going to come round and down. To do this, all we've got to do is you've got to find the start of it, where you want it to start. You draw a rough shape, roughly where you want it to be, and it's going to be this shape. You want it down below the belly, so it's going to be down there, below the belly, and then it'll come round to the back. It'll follow this line all the way down. Once you've drawn that line, you want to get a piece of paper and draw the shape out. Then you'll draw your skirt shape out here, all the way through. And I'll show you. What we're going to do is we're going to put a piece of paper on here and then draw this line in. This will be for your skirt pattern. Skirt when they fit. So if I just nail that onto the back there. And that's it. The line we've previously drawn. If we look at that line and then just draw onto this piece of paper, which is there, there, and I can always join these dots up a bit later on. And the line's down there. Feel the tree, and I just dot round the tree to where I want the back of it to be. And this then will give me that line there. The other thing I need to know is I need to know where the front of the tree is, which is there. That's the front of the tree. And I need to know where the bar is. So if I do that, I do the bar from the other side. So I need to draw it there. The reason we're doing the bar is I need to cover the bar with the skirt. So imagine there's a gap and then a piece of stitching. So I want my skirt to start here. And this covers the entire bar. And we should be able to see through the paper. So I'll draw my bar on this side. And I know where my bar starts. And I know where my bar finishes. So I've got the front of three and the bar. Put my line round and pause. Now what we want to do is just take this off the tree and the same at the back here. Move it through either way. You should be able to see the shape of the skirt. I know this is a front of the saddle, so I want the skirt to continue past and off the front of the tree. About so. And then what I'll do, join all my dots up. You should be able to see the sweep all the way through, right up to the back. And then where we see this, this is underneath, round the front of the tree. And I know I need, that's my bar, so I've got to come down below the bar. And that's where I want my saddle to finish. Say about an inch below the bar. And then you can see the shape of it. Start to appear. And we come to the back. I want the tail to be a bit thinner. All the way through. Bring it through. And join up. That one should all be the one sweep all the way through. And that gives you a skirt shape. And what I'll do now is I'll cut that out and we'll look at it on the pattern there. What I've done is I've cut the piece out and I'll discard that to the side. And now what I want to do is I want to check how it looks on the tree itself. It follows the flow all the way around, comes right in the back there, down past my bar, and I want it just the front of the tree down here. 
the only thing I would say about this one is I probably want a piece more on here. But these are things you can tidy up later on. You take the pattern off and you make it a bit smoother all the way around. The next stage is to put the leather seat on. And this is our leather seat. As you can see, it comes over the front of the tree and it'll come